About to meet a soulmate, is still tripping around. She's like, No way, no more sad, lonely nights, a straight whore. Tomorrow, she's meeting the love of God made for. She's looking in the mirror, dancing around the house with a mess of clothes on the bed, trying on outfits. She's acting now, how the day is probably gonna be like, Hi, Pete, I'm so glad we finally get to meet. She thinks to herself, Hmm, I know what I should do. I'ma call Nicole up and tell her all the good news. And with the voicemail, cause Nicole was sleeping. So Lauren left the message, like, Girl, I'm gonna see you. She hangs up and falls back on the bed. Smiling, looking at the ceiling, daydreaming in dead silence. Eventually, your daydreaming turns into sleep. It's love that she's feeling, and yes, the feeling is sweet. But Lauren's so excited she wakes up before the alarm and calls Pete to see exactly where they're gonna meet. Then Pete picks up and tries to act like he wasn't asleep. Lauren's like, so where we meeting at? We can try my place. Pete's like, nah, how about TGI Fridays? I really love you, Lauren, and I know you trust me, but it's our first time meeting. I don't wanna rush things. She says, that's fine, I'll see you at 12. Until then, I love you, baby, hope you'll be doing well. She takes a shower, does her hair and all that girl stuff. Makeup, lipstick, neck, and wrist curled up. Now it's about time she hands on out to TGI. She texts messages, Pete, hey, I'm about to leave And she's so damn excited as her heart pounds and beats That she almost left the house without her keys Jeez Hasn't arrived yet. Should she go in without him? She hasn't decided. She doesn't really know how he would act if she tried it. So she just sits back and just relaxes her eyelids. It's 12 20. Lauren picks up an appetite. She decides to go inside without him and have a bite. Then the phone rings. It's Pete, so she answers it. Pete says, Baby, I'm gonna have to cancel it. Lauren says, Why? What happened? What is it? Then Pete says, I just heard my grandmother's real sick and I have to go and give her a visit. Then Lauren says, It's okay, baby. Go handle your business. She loves him too much, so it didn't really bother. She hops in the car, pulls off, a truck follows.